Hello everyone and welcome here. In this tutorial, you will get to know that how multi-user inventory count solution designed by Seco Consulting Services will assist you in increasing sales by aiding to avoid the discrepancies of quantity of products that is available in physical count versus the one that your ERP software shows. Well, we all are aware that discrepancies arising in quantity of the products that is available in physical count at your warehouses versus the one that inventory management software shows is unavoidable and because of that counting of the physical quantity of products becomes an inevitable task for every business but the question here is that will you maintain data sheets manually that is when the employee goes to warehouses for counting the quantities of the products where will the employee enter those counted quantities? And how will you compare the counted quantities with the one that inventory management displays? So the main question here arises is that does your business possess such system that can set planner for employees that helps you to decide that which employee will do physical count of which products for which warehouses and when will the employee perform this task which can also automate the complete process of physical counting of products so that you can track for each product that what quantity do you have physically versus what your inventory management software says that you should have and also do inventory adjustments. Along with that, you can also analyze the performances of the work done by employees that is which employee is taking how much amount of time to do the physical counting of products so that you can take necessary decisions if required to improve the efficiency of employee. Well, in this tutorial, you will get to know that when and why should you implement multi-user inventory count solution and what functionalities do this multi-user inventory count solution facilitate with. Also to learn that how to use this multi-user inventory count solution. So next, let me switch over to Odoo and show you various functionalities of multi-user inventory count solution. So here I am on dashboard of Odoo and switching to this inventory count solution. So this is the dashboard of inventory count solution where you can do various type of analysis over inventory count sessions. Well, to understand what type of analysis you can do through this dashboard and various reports in this reporting menu, switch to tutorial part 4. Here in this tutorial part 1, let us understand that how to create inventory count planner, how to create inventory count and then inventory count sessions. What is the difference between inventory count planner, inventory count and when admin user or manager should create inventory count planner and when admin user or manager should create inventory count. So let me first begin with creating inventory count planner. Well, when we will create inventory count planner, at that time you will come to know that what is the difference between inventory count planner and inventory count and at what time admin user or manager should create inventory count planner and when admin user or manager should create inventory count. So first let us understand over here that what actually is inventory count. Well, for businesses with multiple warehouses, possessing multiple stock locations at that time you may need to define that for which warehouse and location you want that the physical counting of the products present in the particular warehouse and particular stock location should be done so for that you need to define inventory count first so all in one inventory count says or it defines the warehouse and the location for which physical counting of the product should be done. After that, for each inventory count, inventory count sessions is created where you need to define the user. That means that which person will go physically at particular warehouse and location and do physical counting of the products. So now you are clear with that first inventory count should be created and after that for each inventory count, Multiple or single inventory count sessions can be created. Inventory count defines warehouses and the location for which counting should be done. Inventory count session defines the user 
who need to do physical counting of the products. So let me first begin with creating inventory count planner. For that, switch to this configurations menu. Here appears the list of all the inventory count planner that is already created. To create new inventory count planner, click on this create button. Let me name this count as count three for SIL warehouse. Next, you need to assign approver. Well, approver is the person who has rights to either reject or approve the counted quantities by the user. So for that, I am assigning at present Eric. Then next, you need to select warehouse and location for which physical counting of the products should be done. So for this count, this inventory count planner count three for this warehouse and location physical counting of the products present at this warehouse and location will be done in this product configuration type if you want to create multiple sessions and assign different different users at that time you can select this option that is multi-session if you have selected the single session option then you can create only one inventory count session for particular inventory count. So as an example, let me select this multi-session over here. Then in scheduler configuration, where well, this is the difference between inventory count planner and inventory count over here. This scheduler configurations does not appear in inventory count. So let us see that what is the difference. See, say for example, in planning frequency day, I have entered four. And previous execution for the first time, obviously, it would be uh, today's date, that is 10th of Jan 2023. Next execution of this inventory count should appear on or should be created on 11th of Jan 2023. So, what this scheduler configurations define, what actually happens is that the first inventory count by the system. Uh, and this solution will be created will be on 11th of Jan 2023. And as in planning frequency day 4 is selected, so after 4 days, that is 12, 13, 14, and 15. On 15th of January, again inventory count for this warehouse and location will be automatically created by this solution. So no need to every time create manually the count session for the same warehouse and location see when admin user or manager should create inventory count planner let us discuss this point say for example there are few products in your warehouse and location which should be counted at regular interval because they are high in demand and very much important for your business so for those products you want that counting of physical counting of the products should be done again and again at regular interval so enter the planning frequency day in interval over here for example you want that counting should be done after every 10 days enter 10 over here the first execution next will be on 11th of jan so next after 10 days that is on 21st of jan the inventory count for this warehouse and location will be created automatically by this solution so you just need to verify, save it, and then verify it. So now you can see that two buttons that is run manually and reset to draft will be activated. Let us understand one by one that when you should click on reset to draft and when you should click on run manually. Say for example, in January and February, the products that you are keeping in this warehouse and location are very much important but in the month of march it is not that important they are the seasonal products whose demand will decrease in march and because of that you do not want the physical counting of those products to be performed again and again so what will happen here that in month of from month of january after every 10 days inventory count for this warehouse and location will be automatically created 
so in the month of march when you want to stop the creation automatic creation of the inventory count at that time come to this records of inventory count planner switch to this count three and click on this reset to draft so what will happen that on first of march when you have clicked on this reset to draft so from the month of march after every 10 days creation automatic creation of inventory count for this warehouse and location will be stopped so isn't it great that much of the energy and time of admin manager admin user or the manager is saved as now admin user or manager does not need to create inventory count of important products and important warehouse and location again and again this was about creating inventory count planner but there are few products or uh, few locations and few warehouse where there is no need to create inventory count again and again so for that when you want to create a random when you want to do physical counting of the products randomly in your warehouse at that time you need to create inventory count from this functionality that is inventory count functionality in documents menu you can create from here so i'm switching here appears the list of all the inventory counts that is already created so now let me show you that how inventory count randomly only once can be created so for that click on this create button you need to as usual select approver over here who has the authority tattoo rights to either approve or reject the counted quantities by user select warehouse and then the location in type let me select single session now and save it if this option that is used barcode scanner is enabled then whenever the user will go at this particular warehouse and location then user need to count the products using barcode scanner to see how the products can be counted by user using this barcode scanner switch to tutorial part 5 so this is how inventory count is created so if you could recall then difference between inventory count planner and inventory count is that that this scheduler configurations does not appear in this inventory count well this is because because of some uncertainties and uh, random products or random decisions where there arises the situation where you want to assign users randomly you want random counting of the products should be done at that time you can create inventory count single time inventory count can be created so this was all about creating inventory count planner and inventory count so once the inventory count is created that means once the warehouse and location is defined for which the physical counting of the products should be done next is to assign user who need to go at this particular warehouse and location and do physical counting of the products so next let me show you how to create inventory count session so switch into this inventory count see you can switch over to inventory count from here then select the inventory count for which you want to create inventory count session for example let us continue with this inventory count that i had created at present where in type multi sessions is selected so now to create inventory count session just select the inventory count and then click on this create session so you need to assign user say for example i am assigning demo user and confirm it you can see that session is created as over here in type multi session is selected so you can create multiple inventory count sessions say for example now i am selecting michelle admin as user and confirming it so two sessions with user michelle admin and demo will be created for this inventory count switching to inventory count sessions you can track very easily the details so this is how the inventory count session is created once the inventory count session is created 
next user need to perform this inventory count sessions so say for example the demo user is logged in then demo user can track only those inventory count sessions in his records which are assigned to him michel admin will be able to track or see only those inventory count sessions which are assigned to michel admin so if demo user is not assigned or not given any access rights to see the inventory count sessions of other user then they won't be able to track which inventory count sessions are assigned to another user so this is how you need to create inventory count planner or inventory count and after that create inventory count sessions if you switch to this sessions functionality in these documents then list of all the inventory count sessions that is created appears here where you can track very easily that which was the user who has performed this inventory count session what is the start date what is the end date how many products were scanned what is the state of this inventory count session all such details appears here so next to see that how the user can perform inventory count session switch to tutorial part 2 so thank you for listening till now and for any queries you can contact us through details mentioned in the description below